students! Welcome to another storytelling presentation. Today, we are going to read another exciting story. But before that, let me just encourage each and everyone to engage yourselves in reading. Why? Because this will help you broaden or widen your horizon and it will help you learn about many, many things. So, let's start! For today's story, we are going to read the story entitled, The Bundle of Sticks. Once upon a time, an old woman lived on a beautiful farm in the country. From her window, she could see pasture land, fields of grain, barns filled with animals, orchards, and forests beyond. The farm was special because it had been in her family for many generations. She had lived there her whole life and grew up to be a mother and raised her family of five. Now her husband was dead and she too was in the last days of her life. The old woman should have been content after such a fortunate life, but she was not. She lay on her bed worrying about her grown children. They could not seem to get along. She heard them quarreling day and night, even though some of them were good at farming and some at working with the animals, some at carpentry, and others at cooking or preserving the food they grew, they each thought their job was the most important and that the others didn't work hard enough. They were all grown-ups now, but they held grudges against each other from things in the past, and they were jealous of each other's good fortune. The old woman tried talking to her children about living in peace, yet they seemed to grow increasingly bitter by the day. She felt sure that they would not be able to keep the family farm after she had died because they could not seem to work together or appreciate each other's gifts. Then one day, as her strength waned, she had an idea. She called her children to her bedside. I have one last favor to ask of you, she said. I would like each one of you to go to the forest and find two sticks. Bring them here tomorrow and I will explain. The children did as she asked and came to her room the next day with the two sticks each. Thank you, children, the old woman said. Please put one of your sticks down and see if you can break the other one in half. The children easily broke their sticks in half. Then the old woman asked the children to pass her the remaining whole sticks. Let us gather the remaining sticks into a bundle, she said. Then the old woman passed the bundle back to her children and said, Please pass this bundle of sticks amongst you and tell me, is it easy to break the bundles as it was the single stick? The children passed the bundle amongst them, but none of them could break the bundle of sticks. You, my children, are like these sticks, the old woman said. If you go your separate ways, quarreling and holding resentments toward one another, you will each be alone like the individual sticks. The difficulties of life will easily hurt you. But if you work together, appreciate each other's strengths, cherish what you share in common, and care for each other, you will be strong like the bundle of sticks. And nothing in life can break you. Find strength and joy 
in one another's company and you will live well and accomplish much. The children took their mother's lesson to heart, letting go of past grudges, focusing on what they shared in common, appreciating each other's strengths, and working together. The old woman died peacefully, and the farm remained in the family for many generations. The end. I hope that you have listened carefully and that you enjoyed our story for today. Thank you for listening! Sticks in a bundle can't be broken, but sticks taken singly can be easily broken. Same applies to people. There is strength in union. Good day, Blue Lions! I am Teacher Room, and today I will share you a story about wealth, success, happiness, and love. A poor man came home one night to find four strangers sitting outside his home. You must be travelers. Please come in and have something to eat. He said to them politely. Is your wife home? They asked. No, he replied. She went in town with my daughter and son. Then we cannot come in till they arrived, the strangers answered simply. The man was confused but he nonetheless went inside. Evening came and his wife and children returned from town. He told them what happened. Tell them that we've arrived and invite them in, the wife said. The son went out and invited the four strangers in. We do not go to a house together, they replied. Why is that? The son asked curious one of the strangers stood up and explained because his name is wealth he said pointing to one of his friends and then the other two and their their names are success and happiness and i am love then he added now go back and decide which one of us you want in your home the boy went in and told his mom and dad how nice let's invite success so he may bring success in our lives the dad said. The mother disagreed. Let's invite wealth in. The daughter voiced her own opinion. Why not invite happiness in? The son stood in the middle of the house. Then he jumped in with his own suggestion. Wouldn't be better to invite love? He said quietly. Let us listen to our son and invite love to our home. The father said, and told his son to invite love in. The son once again went out. Which one of you is love? Come with me, he said kindly. Love got up and started walking towards the house. The other three also followed behind. The boy was surprised and asked, I thought you said only one of you can come in. Love smiled and replied, If you had invited wealth, success or happiness the other three of us would have stayed out but since you invited love in we all go for wherever there is love there is also wealth success and happiness each and every one of us is capable of loving but do you know that there is someone who is capable of giving and showing us greater love and bigger love there is someone above who is capable of loving us more and loving us unconditionally and he did it by giving his life for us according to john chapter 15 verse 13 greater love hath no man than this that a man laid down his life for his friends he is none other than jesus today if you do not have yet the love of jesus that he is offering to us it is not yet late it is not an accident that you are hearing me and listening to this story. Come to Jesus and accept Him as your Lord and Savior. Be able to show the, the big love that He has given us, that He has offered us to other people as well.